Hey guys, welcome back to another Genshin Impact weapon comparison video. Today we'll be looking at an R5 Windbloom Ode, the new event bow for patch 1.4. We'll be comparing it to an R4 Stringless and testing damage with Venti and Fischl. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe as only 99% of my viewers aren't subscribers. Alright then, let's get started. Okay, let's go over the weapon stats real quick. The Windbloom Ode at level 80 has a base attack of 449 and the secondary stat is the Elemental Mastery of 151 and it's exactly the same as the Stringless. So now their secondary stats are pretty different. For the Windbloom Ode, you need to use your Elemental Skill in order to get a 32% increase in attack for 6 seconds. And for the Stringless, at Refinement 4, it increases your Elemental Skill and Elemental Burst by 42%. So we'll be doing tests in the Spiral Abyss, some Domains, and our Rune Guard, but first let's check our stats. Here are my Venti's Artifacts, I'm using the 4-piece Veridescent set. Constellation 0, and Talents are 188. Here are the stats of my Support Fischl. I am using a 2-piece Thunder and Fury and 2-piece Gambler Honor. This is Constellation 3, and my talents are 685. Real quick before the damage tests, keep in mind that Venti's Burst has 3 types of damage. Animal damage, Infused damage, and Swirl damage. Infused damage is from this description right here. If his burst comes in contact with Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro, it will deal additional elemental damage. At level 8, you will see that the additional elemental damage on top of the animal and swirl damage is 30.1%. This damage can crit, and it's affected by crit rate, crit damage, and attack. So during the damage tests, you'll see a lot of numbers, and I'll be putting them into an excel sheet at the end and explaining what each number represents, one of them being infused damage. Here's elemental skill damage. Elemental burst in floor 9 spiral abyss. Another elemental burst in the Veridescent Domain. Okay, so here are the results, and I think the Windbloom Ode actually did pretty good in my opinion. But remember, all these numbers do add up, so slowly you can see that the Stringless will out damage the Windbloom by quite a lot if you actually add all the ticks of damage. A very interesting thing though is that the Stringless did more with the Infuse damage, which is usually affected by crit rate, crit damage, and attack, where the Windbloom provides attack percent. I'm surprised the Stringless passive also affects the Infuse damage as well. Now for Fischl, Oz is summon AoE damage and non-AoE damage. And Elemental Burst damage. And here are the results, and I think the Windbloom did great here. If you take a look at the numbers, well, Oz does continuous damage, so yes, again, over time, the Stringless will outdamage it, but still, like, the numbers aren't still that far apart. And for Fischl's Elemental Burst, I added with the damage without the passive and with the passive, and there are ways to activate the passive before using the Elemental Burst, so I added these two factors, so you can compare like this, honestly if you um, use the bow correctly. In conclusion, the Stringless, even at Refinement 1, will outdamage the Windbloom at Refinement 5. However, I think the Windbloom bow is still a great weapon. It's free, and with the event, it gains 1.5 times the experience, and you can also refine it to rank 5 by playing some party minigames. Not everyone has a Stringless, and the fact that they could provide a free decent bow for support characters is great. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash frenchtutor underscore. I'll be streaming almost every day if I'm not making videos. Take care now. Bye.